This is the Philadelphia Tracheotomy Collar Practitioner Fitting and Skin Care video. This video is designed to guide you with the proper fitting, removal of the collar for skin checks, and cleaning recommendations. This demonstration will be performed to the patient in the supine position. Please note, instructions do not supersede hospital protocols and or direct orders for the patient's physician. Always follow all hospital C-spine precautions. Proper sizing is critical to achieve comfort and proper immobilization. Ensure that the correct spinal protocol is followed. To measure the height, measure the vertical distance from the top of the patient's shoulder to the tip of the chin. The measurement corresponds to the height of the device. If the patient's measurement falls between two consecutive sizes, apply the smaller size first. The measurement corresponds to the size circumference of the device. For proper sizing, please see the chart. Now that we know the correct size for the initial fit, we can begin by sliding the back piece behind the patient's neck and center it. Noting the arrow on the back panel is up. Please note, long hair should be placed outside of the back piece. Apply the front piece with the chin secured in the recess and center it to the secure neutral alignment. Please see the up arrow on the anterior portion of the brace. Next, we are gonna flare out the brace, sliding it so that the anterior portion slides in front of the back section panel. Please note that the chin is in the recess and the tracheal opening is in midline. Next, we will begin by securing the hook and loop. Back and forth, we can do this until we get neutral alignment of the straps. It is important that the patient's skin condition is checked regularly every shift using correct hospital C-spine protocols. Before removing the collar, note where the ends of the hook and loop straps are. Try to make sure that you replace the straps to the same position. Position the head flat in bed without a pillow. Keep head in a neutral position. Do not allow the neck to bend forward, backwards, or from side to side. Position the patient with arms to the side, shoulders should be down, and the head aligned centrally. While maintaining C-spine precautions, gently slide the posterior piece from behind the patient's neck and then remove the collar front. Inspect the patient's jawline, clavicle, and sternal area for any pressure problems. Once the patient has been properly log rolled in accordance with correct hospital C-spine protocol, check areas such as the occiput and C7 for any potential pressure problems. For cleaning and care, wipe with a damp cloth and mild soap, air dry. For all other questions, please refer to the IFU for cleaning instructions. On behalf of Oser Academy, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Please feel free to reach out to your local sales representative for further questions.